I wanted to expand our thinking on four categories which people find confusing. And I've done a video on just talking about the differences between training and process facilitation. This one's going to take that a little bit further to include two other categories, group coaching and mentoring. Uh, sorry, <laughs> mentoring and group coaching. So let's start with the trainer. And the emphasis on training is on learning. You want your participants to learn. It's you have content expertise to offer them. You are an external expert and you want them, the goal is to give them subject understanding. You want them to know about this subject and you know about the subject and you're going to impart that experience and those competencies to the learners. It still is a somewhat hierarchical model even when you are very interactive facilitative learning kind of style training. The qualities of the trainer are really energetic, you want to be motivated, you want to be patient, you're speaking a lot. Uh, I know there are many styles of trainers that are very facilitative, but I still want to kind of categorize that, the trainer, this way. The mentor is imparting their wisdom. They have a lot of experience, they still have content expertise. They are external, again, because it's their external experience. And the goal is to improve your competency. You are working with someone and you're trying to improve their competency. They're wise, they're experienced, and generous with their knowledge. Group coaching. Well, we've seen that a lot. We have some people showing up for IAF certification, uh, pro certified professional facilitator, that are group coaches. And that's great, but there is a difference still. And I want to show that really the group coaches are helping you discover yourself in a team and discover some of your qualities as a team. You don't necessarily have content expertise. It's more internally based. You're using their, the team's wisdom, but you do still want them to change. You want them to change their behavior. You're often brought in because the team isn't performing the way they need to be. And then you are encouraging and supportive and maybe even a little provocative. You know, you want to actually have them take a leap of wisdom into something that they haven't done before. Now I get to my favorite thing because I'm a process facilitator. I'm also a trainer and a mentor and a coach in some ways, but this is the deep wisdom that I love to impart to you. It's all about getting a group to think well together. You have process expertise, but no content expertise. The group has the content. You have no content. You are internally based. You're trying to help them solve a problem collaboratively. Now, and I'm gonna come back to that in a second. You're trying to be facilitative rather than hierarchical, and you are unbiased, neutral, safe, transparent, honest, that kind of thing. You're doing a lot of listening. Now let me say, one of the key things that distinguishes the process facilitator from these other three categories, where one was about learning, imparting, discovering, now you're thinking. Now what are you helping them think about? You're helping them think how to be more innovative, to create an innovation in what they've been doing before. You're helping them think to make a decision. You're helping them to build consensus, think around building consensus. You may actually be helping them become mo more coherent in, and aligned in their thinking. You may be helping them do strategy or provide a direction for the team, and you're often helping them with planning or to help. So those are the products that the process facilitator is doing. I just have one last thing to say to you about process facilitation. There are many qualities and you'll see these qualities in trainers, coaches, mentors as well. But then at the very end, I'm gonna distinguish three things that I think really hit the nail on the head. Why is a process facilitator different from any of these other three categories? And what I would say is the process facilitator, much like the other categories, evokes creativity and confidence in the group. You're always about inspiring that creativity. The process facilitator is transparent and honest. I see this going on. What's happening? The process facilitator is paying deep attention to what's happening at any given moment in the group. They have a lot of presence. The process facilitator is both an artist, they have artistry and science at their beckon. They're trying to really create a beautiful flow, a beautiful design for people to go through a series of activities that will help them get, get from A to B or to D. They're grounded, calm, and they're very safe to be with. Therefore, the group will go deeper and do things they wouldn't normally do with you. And the last three that I think really differentiate is the process facilitator is a planner. They're very prepared. They have to spend a lot of time designing 
an event, a meeting, a workshop that will help the group do something that they have never done before, to help them get to one of these coherence, consensus, problems, etc. And so I think that distinguishes. Often the coach and the mentor um, are not as prepared. Obviously the trainer is prepared, but in, uh, that's a very big distinction for the trainer and the process facilitator. The process facilitator is an adaptive designer. And that means that they're, they've designed something they think will work based on the objective set with the client, but they know at any moment they may have to change their plan and they're ready to do that, ready and poised to do that. A trainer rarely does that. A trainer will stick with their agenda. Finally, I think the key thing, and we often use this word neutral and unbiased, you know the group has to go somewhere. You are trying to get them to results, but really you don't care what the results end up being. You're always trying to get them to the results they need, but you don't actually know for sure what it is until the group has achieved that outcome. I hope that I've made some sense here. I'm still thinking about this. There are four categories. Choose which one you really wanna be. Know which one you're doing at any given moment in time. And talk to other process facilitators to find out more.